guys, it's Mira Ray. So today's video is a little bit different. It was a very highly requested video because my royal family series has been so popular. I had a lot of viewers ask me how to start their own royal family. So I wanted to make this video to show you guys how to do that. I actually had made another video and recorded it already of me actually making The Sims and then my camera wasn't working apparently because I went back to the files and like one of the files wasn't there. So I was like, well, shoot, I need to do this again. If you guys are excited for this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and learn how to make your own royal family. This video isn't like officially in the royal family series, but it's more like a how-to video. I've already like picked the outfits and everything for them because I did that like in the last video. So at least I can show that to you guys. This was the sim that I made. You guys can really make whatever you want. If you want to, you guys can also like go into the gallery and type in like your own royal family. So I would do this sometimes for like my other royal families just to kind of have like a template to start with. So I usually go to most popular because they kind of have more what I'm looking for usually. So if you go to more, more blah, blah, blah. if you go to most popular and then you type in royal family, there's like a ton of royal families that you guys can download and use as a template to start your own. So that is one option that you can do. They have really like all different types of royal families. So that's one way you could do it. Or you can make your own, which is kind of what I did here. And then if, if you guys can see, this is very similar to the Windenburg family, the Windenburg royal family that I already have. So I kind of like chose the hairstyle. So this is the king. So I'm starting with a king and a queen who are in their adult life stage. And then they have two kids, a boy and a girl who are children. This right here is King George. And George is such a common name for a royal, for a king really. So I just went with that name. This is King George. So the hairstyle that I picked for him comes with a city living pack. It's what I use for a lot of my kings. So you guys can go with this hairstyle. They have a few other, like it depends kind of what time period you're going for. So you could go with this one or you could go with this one. This is also a really good one too. But yeah, it just kind of depends what time period you're going for. So with these Sims, I kind of went more for like a medieval slash revolution sort of time period. I don't know. It's like really random. You really can make it your own. It doesn't have to be specific. You can make it as creative and as flexible as you want, whatever you guys want to do. So don't feel contained that you need to do like strict specific stuff. So I went with King George first name. You guys can pick any last name you want to. I usually go with the world that I know that they're going to live in. So I know that they're going to live in Windenburg. So that's my favorite ones for the royals to live in. So I made their last name Windenburg. So usually for like the kings and queens, I know that they want to have like a successful lineage. So I went with that one for their aspiration. And then for their traits, you guys can make it like a good king or a bad queen or a good king or a bad king. So I, I went with like a more good one, like one that the people really love. So he's self-assured, he's family oriented, and he's self-absorbed. So those are his traits. And then for his outfit so I picked a few different ones so this one is for the everyday so I picked one that like goes with like the base game stuff or the, the not the custom content one so this is kind of what I usually go with for the kings for their everyday wear because it's still super elegant I feel like it's something that a king would wear and it comes with the vampire pack so the shoes are like very formal still I kind of keep their outfits very formal even though it's not like as formal as their actual formal outfits so there's his everyday outfit and then for his formal outfit so this one is custom content and I will put the link to my Pinterest board for the custom content in the description below. I will also link the crowns in the description below. But really though, if you guys look up like royal outfits, custom content Sims 4 in like Pinterest or Google or anything, you guys should be able to find it. So that's not that hard to find it. So that is one of his formal outfits. And then I went with one that was not a custom content outfit, just for those of you who don't use custom content. So I would really just go with the tuxes and stuff that have like the tail coats because I just thought that they were still very elegant and stuff. And even though it might be something more that a contemporary very modern king would wear and probably not like the olden times. They probably wouldn't wear this, but it's just an option for you guys too. So I just wanted you guys to see what you could do. And then to make it more fun, I kind of give like my royal families royal family colors. So my current family in Windenburg that I play with my royal family series is purple, but then I kind of made it pink and purple just because I was very limited on the purple outfits that they could choose. For this family, as you can see, it's kind of more blue. So that's kind of what I went with for the royal colors. It's just something a little bit more fun and I try to make all of their outfits have a little bit of their royal color in it. So that's something you guys can do if you would like to as well. So then this is his wife. This is the queen, Queen Mary. This one I would actually go with for their formal outfits sometimes too. So you guys can either do formal or everyday outfit for them. For her traits and aspirations, it was pretty similar to the king's like big happy family, family oriented. She's a perfectionist and she's outgoing. And then yeah, so for their first name, that's how I give them the title. I just put it all in, in the first name. So like Queen Mary, King George and all that. Or you could do like the prince and princess.
reference this in there as well. For the hair, the hair is custom content. It's very elegant. I love it a lot. This one is very easy to find on like Pinterest. I think I just uh, I looked up custom content hair like updo or something like that. And that was one of the one I think it's called like the Josephine updo or something. It's really, really cool. But that is what I did for her everyday outfit. And this is another everyday outfit you guys can go with too. So it comes with the Get Famous pack. And then for the queen, I always give them like pearls or something just to make them look a little bit more elegant. All of their outfits are super modest. I never do anything that like shows cleavage or anything like that, especially for a queen. So that's her everyday outfits. For her formal outfit, so this is definitely custom content. This one you can find on my Pinterest board, probably more at the bottom because I think this is one of the first ones that I downloaded. And then the tiara too, I will try to link that in the description as well. So this is just so formal, so elegant. I love it a lot. I just love like the really big dresses for the queens and for the princesses, especially the queens. So that is her formal outfit. For the other formal outfits, it's really hard to find one that comes with the base game. Like I said, like I used to use this one for the formal outfits sometimes. So that is an option. They really don't have that many ball gowns though. There's this one. I'm not like the biggest fan of it, but it is an option for you guys. So you guys can decide what you want to do with that. So that is for the queen. So then as I mentioned, they have two kids. So we'll start with their oldest. So their oldest is Prince Edward. For Prince Edward, I made his aspirations. I mean, they really don't have that many children aspirations. You guys can kind of decide what you want for their personalities. So for the princess outfits, so there's some really good stuff actually that's not custom content that comes with the game. So there's this one for an everyday outfit, which I thought was really cute. I definitely think this is something that a prince could wear for an everyday outfit. We also have like the suspenders and button up shirt. That one works really well too. There's this one, there's this with a bow tie. So kind of depends how casual you want to go with the princes. And then for formal outfits, so I picked this one that comes with the vampire pack and I just thought it was really cool. And then I put like the tights underneath because they would wear those back then too. So that's the prince. And then for the princess, so this outfit comes with the romantic garden pack and I thought it was perfect for the princess to wear as well, especially for an everyday outfit. For their hair, I usually try to make it more like half up, half down. It looks more elegant to me. I love using these shoes for it too. And especially for the girls, like just because back then, depends again how modern you want to make your royal family, but they usually wore tights. So that's her everyday outfit. And then for her formal outfit, so this one comes with the vampire pack so you can get you guys can get this without custom content so this is a very evil look so it kind of again depends what you're going for what style you're going for with the royal family this one is custom content and i do have a tiara i can't find crowns for princes that are children so i just don't have a crown for him for his formal outfit but i usually just put the crowns on for the either their formal outfits or their formal and party outfits but yeah so that's our royal family so i had found this castle on the gallery that i downloaded so it's ma named or made by sim proved you guys can look that up the ea account is sim proved and i went to lots so this is actually and this was suggested to me by a viewer to download this it is their game of thrones castle i would never actually download this and, and play in the game of thrones castle just because it's really complicated to me but it's called the red keep so those of you who watch game of thrones and want to download it i highly recommend it because it looks really cool but this is definitely more of like a medieval style castle so i downloaded that for them to live in you guys are definitely going to have to turn on your cheats so by doing that you have to go to testing cheats on and then you guys are going to have to do free real estate on and that way when you make your royal family then you can immediately have them live in whatever castle you want them to and like because they're not going to have enough money when you first make them so you have to turn on free real estate on for them to be able to afford any castle so i always use cheats with my royal family i always like give them a ton of money because they are supposed to be like a, a royal family and to make it realistic i want them to start that way and i don't want to have to work our way to having that much money what i did when i first started my royal family i didn't have all the nobles and stuff i only had the royal family and then when i realized that I wanted their kids to marry people who were royal, I downloaded another royal family. And I'm pretty sure I just downloaded like someone from the gallery. So I just look up castle in the gallery. There are so many options, you guys. I'm just going to do this French castle right here. This looks pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and put that there. And then I just like got a random family from the gallery, a random royal family, kind of like what I showed you guys in the beginning of the video that you guys can do. So basically what I did was I would have them have kids too. And then 
and make it like an arranged marriage. So the royal families, like their kids have to marry each other. And then I had like different kingdoms too, but you guys can start whatever way you want. If it's easier for you to start with like one royal family or two royal families, you guys can do that too. Cause I kind of worked my way up to four. You guys can definitely take it at your own pace, but oh my gosh, guys, this is actually, this is beautiful. I kind of made each of my royal families have like a different cultural background. So you guys can do whichever way you want as well. The Wittenberg is very English. In Willow Creek, it kind of reminds me of like Dutch or French or something like that. In Oasis Springs, it could be Spanish. It could be Middle Eastern, anything that kind of matches that desert theme for you guys. And then for the nobles. So what I would do with the nobles, I think what I had done was that when like, so say that their kids married our royal family's kids and then they had a ton of kids and then not everyone can be like the heir to the throne. So basically I would have those princesses and princes become like the Duke or the Duchess or like the Earl or something like that. And then I would have them move into lots that were close to the castle. So I kind of like dubbed that as the land for the nobles and for the royals because for my royal family series, they actually live on this lot here. And then I would have all the nobles move into these lots like all around them. So this was kind of like a royal noble island sort of thing. That's kind of what you guys can do if you would like to as well. So I mean, you guys can also like have dukes and duchesses already if you want there to already be nobles in your worlds. It does take time to have your sims have like as big of a family tree as my royal families do. I know you can adjust like the lifespan of your sims. So if you go to gameplay and settings and if you go to sim lifespan, it, I don't know why it's not letting me do that now, but it should let you do it. I think it might just because I'm in managed world or something like that. Oh, oh, because you have to go to auto age. That's it. Okay, so you have to make sure auto age is checked. So I'll show you guys just the castle that I moved them into. I would never actually play in this castle. I prefer castles that are more like rectangular and more open. It's just easier for me to play that way. If you guys would also like to see how I do the portraits and everything, you can look in the second episode of the Royal Family series. I believe I covered it in that episode. So this is the castle that I have downloaded for this, this family that I'm not actually gonna play, but uh, I will just have it here for you guys. So it's raining and it's really dark, so it's hard to see, but it, this looks amazing. For the royal families, I usually have like a throne room for them, and then I will have like a butler for them too, and I usually make the butler sleep on like the ground floor or the basement, because that's what they would do for the butlers or for the servants. They would not let them sleep upstairs. I mean, sometimes they, I think sometimes in the attics, like some would have servant quarters like in the attics. So yeah, kind of depends what you guys want to do. But yeah, I mean, this is cool. I like castles with like a lot of gardens and stuff too. So if you guys want to play this, I will put that link in the description below as well. But yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna end this here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put that in the comments below. If you enjoyed this and are excited to make your own royal family, give this video a big thumbs up. I hope this was helpful. I wasn't exactly sure how to do this, but I think that most of this is pretty straightforward. So at least this can get you like a jump start on creating your own royal family. I can't wait to see or hear about your own royal family. You guys can tell me all about your royal families in the comments below. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Love you guys.